Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new channel. I'm going to be showing you a little spicy team that I hit masters with in the first month of season 13. I'm using my signature Amistar and Calyrex tech. Um, I have a couple of videos that are front on my main channel that show this team or show that tech in action, but we're actually trying to adapt this to the season 13 meta, which is a lot uh, a lot of Zacian, a lot of Magirna. Incineroar is really good as well still. So in this first battle, I decided I was going to lead Incineroar and Magirna against my opponent. And in this situation, I was thinking they're more than likely going to try to set up Trick Room. I mean, excuse me. They're going to try to set up Tailwind with the Whimsicott. So I'm actually going to set up Trick Room on my Magirna. And I'm going to, I think I U-turn out, or I just insta-swap out with Incineroar here to bring in Groudon to lessen the blow here from the Kyogre. Because obviously the Kyogre is going to throw a water move. And it is water spout. We are able to tank it, fortunately, here in the sun. And because of the first turn, I'm able to get off a Trick Room, which will be really significant here in dealing with Zacian even, because... The Zacian's not going to really want to stay in here and get hit by a ground move by a Kyogre. So my opponent decides to switch in Whimsicott here. I'm going for the Dazzling Gleam and we actually are able to just remove this Whimsicott on this turn. We do get the attack or the special attack boost from Soul Heart and we are going to be able to tank this water move from Kyogre as well. So my opponent brings in their Groudon and in this situation, I think I just go for Precipice Blades, and I just go for the Dazzling Gleam. Um, I think my opponent wants to keep this Kyogre alive, so they actually do use Protect. And the Groudon is going to be able to live the Onslaught of moves and more than likely knock out my Pokemon. Fortunately, my Groudon dodges the move, and we're able to get off our Precipice our precipit Blades blades also excuse me um at this point though i do have my amistar and the thing i like about running this amistar if you're new to the channel this amistar is equipped with weak armor and weakness policy and it shines the best whenever i'm pairing it with calyrex and using double kick from calyrex onto my own amistar to trigger weak armor and weakness policy but i like running amistar a lot because it does actually operate pretty well in the trick room metas as as, as well. As you can see, um, we're doing pretty solid here. And at this point, I am just going to D-Max my Amistar and go for the Max Geyser. And I think this is just GG if I'm not mistaken. It might, I think the Zacian actually shields here, uh, uses protect and it will live obviously because um, it can't be hit by Groudon, and it's water move with Protect is not going to knock out. But that's fine, because at this point, the next turn, we will be able to just one-shot the Zacian here with the Max Geyser, excuse me. But yeah, I'm just going to um, switch out Groudon, bring in Incineroar to weaken Zacian's attack to guarantee that Amistar will live a move here. But I think they actually target Groudon with Behemoth Blade. So that will just allow us to get a free Max Geyser off here to solidify the first battle. So these are all the matches that led up to me hitting Master. I was experimenting a bit earlier in the season with Victini and Melmetal. I did like using them, but um, the team I currently r am running, I just kind of adapted to it because I just... I just really like running Amistar in Sword and Shield. It's actually kind of decent. I mean, it's not it's not OP in any sense, and I do feel there's better <laughs> Pokemon for the slot. But in this next match, my opponent has pretty much like both of the Weather, Legendaries, Dialga, and a couple Dark types here. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I. I think I picked Sinroar and Grimmsnarl lead here. Oh no, I actually bring Amistar lead. 
So they, my opponent actually brings in Dialga, and I'm going to D-Max my Amistar right off the bat. So the one thing about running Amistar, when I first uh, built this tech, I would obsess with, you know, I had always run Amistar with Calyrex, or always had the lead Calyrex with Amistar. But as I've played out this tech more and more, I've realized that sometimes you have to embrace that you can't just get the perfect setup every time. So Amistar, unless my opponent is running Grass Pokemon, it does do pretty good at taking a hit or two, especially with Grim Snarl support. So here, they're just going to double down, and I think they're going to try to remove my Grim Snarl right away. I am able to get a Light Screen, which will be very significant during this fight. I'm going to get off a Max Hailstorm here to just get off some chip damage on Dialga, and wow, well, yeah, I'm. Gonna struggle to knock this Dialga out here with Amistar. I think actually another D-Max Ice move would knock out with Hail at the end of the turn, but it's not gonna be able to stay up significantly. I could have brought in Cineroar here, but I thought Groudon might have been better even if it removes the Hail because we can hit both targets with a ground move, which is pretty solid. So that's what I'm... I, I, at first I was going to go for another Ice move, but I decided Max Rockfall on Grim Snarl, and then just go for Precipit Blade. And the opponent will set up a Reflect to resist the ground move a bit, which makes sense. But this does remove Dialga from play. And we are going to Max Rockfall the Grim Snarl here, which will also knock it out. So we do get up Sand, which, you know, obviously the Sand is not going to chip away from either Pokemon on my side of the field. So that works out pretty good. In comes the Kyogre now, and my opponent's Groudon. The funny thing about this is, though, that my opponent's Groudon is actually going to remove the rain, so that kind of puts my opponent's Kyogre in a bad position. Here, I think I go for Max Rockfall on Kyogre, if I'm not mistaken, to try to get off some chip damage. And yeah, because I didn't want to use Max Geyser particularly on Groudon, and I could have gone for an Ice move, but I also felt maybe it's better to try to remove the Kyogre. I'm going to switch out my own Groudon, just in case they try to D-Max their Kyogre and set up Rain. And I also want to just lower my opponent's Groudon's attack. That way, my uh, Amistar can also secure living a move better. My opponent goes for the Max Lightning on Amistar, which I wasn't actually expecting. And it does activate my weakness policy, but I think I'm going to die. Oh, no, no, I thought I would actually do live here. So that's actually pretty solid. So because of that, because of the Reflect plus the Intimidate, I'm able to live and it activates my weak armor and my... I already had my weakness policy activated from the Max Lightning. So... We got off a little bit of chip damage here on Kyogre, and I decided I'm going to go for... This is the thing about Amistar. Um, outside of D-Max, because I'm running Meteor Beam and Hydro Pump, it's kind of tough to make it work outside of just the D-Max scenario. So I'm going to try to go for Hydro Pump here, knowing that it probably will knock out if it connects, and unfortunate for me, that's... I get unlucky. I probably should just went for the Ice Beam to be safe. One of the main reasons why I don't run Blizzard also on all the stars is I would probably never hit a target outside of D-Max if I ran Blizzard as well. <laughs> but I'm going to bring back in Groudon. We remove my opponent's rain. And now I'm just going to use Ice Beam to secure an attack here on Groudon. Probably should have just done this to begin with because when you see this, you're like, oh, it knocks out. What? Because I'm at plus two special attack. I mean, yeah, that would have been nice to just not miss a move but my opponent pretty much has to go for max hell storm here it doesn't do enough to even do half health on my groudon and i get a little bit of chip damage and at this point i'm just gonna throw an ice beam with my Amistar here on the kyogre and it should be enough to knock out but i think if i'm not mistaken my opponent just quits the match before yeah all right so gg we have one more battle here and this is very spicy. I mean, this is actually the battle right before Masters for me. 
And my opponent is running three grass type Pokemon and Galarian Articuno. This is spicy. I mean, Shiftry, I can kind of understand with Chlorophyll. Uh, Maractus, though, is very much an unexpected pick. I know it does get access to Sucker Punch, so maybe they're running it for that reason. But our opponent decides to leave Galarian, Articuno, and Shiftry. And I do feel like I make a pretty good call here to lead Incineroar and Grimmsnarl, aside the fact that we do activate competitive on this Articuno. So I assume that this Shiftry is going to switch out on turn one. So I'm actually just going to U-turn that slot and I'm going to set up a light screen as well. So my opponent switches out Shiftry into Zacian. And this is the thing about this team is Zacian is kind of a problem for me, I feel. And I need to bring Groudon a lot of times. But my opponent's team here is doing a really good job of scaring away my Groudon. So I get up the light screen and I think they use a max Airstream on my Incineroar, which I will be able to take the move, fortunately. And their speed rises. And I do feel like my Incineroar is valuable. So there you go. We do get out of here. And I'm going to bring in Calyrex. So this is a choice Scarf Calyrex and primarily because I for my tech for Amistar. But I think it would be okay if I trap myself into Astral Barrage here. More than likely, I'm going to die this turn and I just want to get off some chip damage. So I'll set up a Reflect with my Grim Snarl just to buff up my team. I do get off the Astral Barrage, but unfortunately for me, um, even if I live this Behemoth Blade, my opponent does not like Calyrex, and they're going to just double down and knock out Calyrex here. Guess my opponent doesn't really fear my Grim Snarl, which is totally understandable. So at this point, it's looking kind of tough. I'm going to actually bring in my Girna, and... I'm going to just go for a Dazzling Gleam in hopes of knocking out one of these Pokemon, if not both, hopefully. So the, the Zacian goes for Behemoth Blade on my Grim Snarl, which actually just knocks it out. And that's not looking too good for me, but it does give me attack boost here before I attack, which I think is pretty significant. And we should be able to at least knock out the Articuno with the Dazzling Gleam. The Zacian lives which is kind of scary to think about, but we get another attack boost here from knocking out Zacian. I'm going to bring in Sinroar, and fortunately for us, because of Fake Out, and we know that either Zacian is going to protect here, or they're going to play aggressive. And if they predict that I'm going to Fake Out, like obviously they're going to protect on Zacian, right? So what I do here is I think I actually target Shiftry with Magirna, if I'm not mistaken. And oh yeah, I do use I use fake out and they don't use protect. So my opponent actually tried to go for the heat wave here, which probably would have been clutch, but unfortunately for them it just misses. And fortunately now puts me in a very unique scenario where my what, it really comes down to what my last opponent's Pokemon will be. Because Zacian is at, still in a position where it can still output damage. In comes a Shiny Maractus, which I've never even seen this Shiny. That's a really cool looking Shiny Pokemon. So here is the real question. Um, I felt like Zacian was absolutely going to target Magirna. And I had to shield Magirna and just target Zacian with Incineroar. I felt like that's what I had to do here. And fortunately for me, we make such a good call. And they do actually target Magirna here. I'm able to U-turn the Zacian to knock it out. And at this point, we should be pretty safe to remove Maractus here. I can't really think what it could possibly have that could, you know, save pace here but yeah we should be good and Sinroar is gonna just flame or flare blitz and knock out Maractus so yeah GG kind of scary I actually thought I was gonna lose this match because of how much pressure they had from the grass types 
But it ended up working out in my favor because I did not, you know, I didn't bring in anything that kind of struggled too much with them. Just wanted to show you some, a little spicy team. I'll even like share a code in the description if you're interested in maybe trying out this team in this final month. But yeah, uh, this is my new VGC channel and I'm definitely going to be posting some stuff leading up to Scarlet, Violet and definitely going to be making content for Scarlet and Violet here. So definitely consider subscribing and thanks again for tuning in. The Sasquatch is getting stronger each and every day. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon. We're tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.